guess who? Why did you come out here? Because I love you. An 80 for two. That's not bad. I win $540. Claire, you mean to say you bet $100 on that horse to win? Of course. In these places, you have to spend money to make money. I'm your wife, Carl. There are community property laws in this state. It won't be that easy. It'll be very easy when I show this letter to the judge. And I'm starting divorce proceedings in the morning. That's the guy I want to see. Yeah, about what? Oh, I've been assigned to do the follow-up on the Hanneman case. Oh, how'd you draw that? Oh, I asked for it. It'd be a dull job because there isn't going to be any follow-up. Can you give me a good reason for Hanneman killing himself? No, I can't. Perhaps he thought he had a good reason. The police are over there now. Murdoch said he'd stop by here later. You sure it was suicide? Fairly sure. A man in Hanneman's position, a beautiful wife and all that money? Don't get it. He didn't happen to. I found him from Los Angeles. How come? Well, I was arriving late and alone. I knew Les would pick me up. Do you have any theory as to why your husband came to San Francisco after telling you he was going to New York? No. I didn't know anything about the business. The gun, of course, was Hanneman's. We checked the serial number. Claire, you... You're crazy. I... Wait, wait. That's being foolish. You make everything add up to spell Claire, don't you? But I have too much respect for money to throw it away on horses. Don't you know what those words meant in there? <laughs> Let no man put asunder. No one can put us asunder less, you and me. Oh, I never could figure you out. I'll be right in. I just want to say my goodbyes to a few of the gang. All right, but hurry. Still carrying the torch for Claire, huh, Al? Not anymore. But somebody sure fixed it in a hurry for you to get Claire again. <laughs>